Greenwood's always been interesting to me, especially as a railroader, because Greenwood made its own history. Greenwood built itself. My name is Tom Howey. I have been in the rail industry all my life. Well, this is the Railroad Historical Center in Greenwood, South Carolina. Not only is it a site of history, it's a monument to the rich history that Greenwood shares with the railroad. It has three of the four original cars from the Piedmont and Northern Railroad. It also has a Baldwin model steam engine that was commissioned and worked in quarries. The Columbia and Greenville Railroad opened and went in service through the middle of Greenwood about 1850. Just about all the people in this portion of South Carolina who served in the Confederate Army during the Civil War got to and from the battle site right here from the station in downtown Greenwood. The middle of Greenwood, when Greenwood was booming, the passenger service was a huge asset to Greenwood, like it was to a lot of the communities. This little town in the middle that was not connected otherwise, it connected it to the rest of the world and allowed it to develop like it did. They would get on the cars like this. They were called business cars, cars in which the executives could inspect the track. My name is Duffy Bridges. I grew up here in Greenwood. My grandmother informed me that the reason her family is here is because of the railroad here in Greenwood. My family's from here, has been here for generations, and just general interest in the railroad has really permeated my life. I've always lived within earshot of the railroad as long as I can remember. So where the CSX line now, which used to be the Seaboard Airline, crosses over Maxwell Avenue, there is a concrete platform that sits just off the tracks. But this is one piece of, of the history of the Railroad of Greenwood that still stands, still visible today. It's a great place because you get to see the modern railroad and modern railroad operations interact with the old golden days of the railroad. There was as many as eight to 10 parallel tracks through the middle of downtown Greenwood. Touted that Greenwood had the widest main street in the USA. The railroad business began to decline in the late 20th century between 1950 and 2000. Throughout the town, there are tiny reminders of its railroad past. They set out and, and began a project of utilizing the old rail beds here. Somebody had a great idea to say, let's turn these into bike trails. It's called the Heritage Trail. When I explain Greenwood to people who have never even heard of it, I, I say that it is the hub in the middle of nowhere. The people and the characters that you'll meet here in Greenwood are first and foremost the reason you should come to Greenwood.